All right, today I'll be showing you uh, this new, semi-new uh, CSS extension. It's called Less, and it's it comes with a JavaScript file to include on your server. And what it allows you to do is um, it allows you to use dynamic behavior and functions um, within the actual CSS and it's pretty much just creating shortcuts within the CSS to allow you uh, more options and uh, better customizability. Um, with it you can uh, use variables, what they call mix-ins, uh, nested rules, and also functions and operations. Uh, so I'll show you how to use this today and a couple of examples. Um, I'm using this uh, coding gen website again uh, for to use as my example. It has its own web server on there where and you can also edit online. Uh, but all I did to install uh, this less CSS is I downloaded their JavaScript file and uploaded it to this web server, uh, which you can see right here. And created this styles.less uh, file, which is right here. And I've go ahead. I've gone ahead and added a few things in there. Um, it should, for the most part, you know, look like CSS. There's a few things different, like the variables. And I'll explain that. Uh, to get it to work, you have to link it uh, within the the head header of your uh, website. And, uh, but you have to put that, that link before, uh, the JavaScript file that you downloaded is included on the same site. So, let's go over here and I'll show you the site first so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. And, there it is. So I have a couple divs. Um, this teal one is actually inside of the the white one this white one extends the whole way um, and uh, we'll change this color using the the less and we'll also expand uh, change the height and the width of the divs and uh, add some rounded corners on there so let's go back to here and uh, I've just created these IDs on these divs and uh, the paragraph doesn't have one but uh, let's go over here. We have the outside div, the inside div, and uh, this is what you'd normally see in CSS is the inside div P. <coughs> and that's just, you know, being used to, to customize um, specific things within those uh, divs. Um, the cool thing, one of the first cool things about, about this less CSS is uh, you can declare variables. So instead of having to write, you know, this value multiple times throughout your document, you can actually just type in add color one, or add color two, or the different heights there. And also, again, this is the the current one. Uh, we'll change the the height and width of this outside div, this white one. So we can actually, instead of having to retype something, um, a lot of times you want things in proportion to each other, um, where this would come in handy. Um, you can actually go, you can add, subtract, multiply, and divide um, values to these uh, variables that you've already declared up top. So the height and the width, uh, you can actually do it with uh, the colors, the hex values of the colors as well. So for the width, we'll just add 100. Um, down here, do divided by 2, and subtract 50. Uh, let's see what it looks like. And nothing showed up. OK. 
kind of sucks. There we go. I guess maybe that subtraction doesn't work. Let's try it real quick. Interesting. Let's see what happens if we do this. We'll just stick with the uh, addition. So subtraction doesn't work, but division does. Multiplication, and I'm sure there's a workaround for subtraction, but I'm not too familiar with this yet. But this is this is what we have right now. And again, that didn't work. Those little semicolons always get the best of me. All right, so we changed the height and the width. Um, you can actually, you know, if you want to change this to blue, you know, instead of updating everything on your document, anything that has that variable can can change the color. You just have to update it once. Uh, Let's go ahead and change that back to white. And uh, I'll show you the next cool thing. Um, is uh, you can actually, it's called these uh, nest in, or uh, the mix ins. Um, and you can see their example here, and I'll show you. Um, they declared a class rounded corners. Um, within that, you know, the, it has its own properties. Uh, it also, you can put in parameters right here. Um, that's the default parameter. And actually, when you call this, you can specify a new uh, a new radius just by putting in whatever you want as the parameter. So we'll go ahead and do call rounded corners here. And we'll just call that like that. And down here... We'll call with uh, 20. Let's see what happens here. And there you go. You see the rounded corners? And uh, that's pretty cool because you don't have to type everything multiple times again. You can just include it and you know change it on the fly as you wish. It's just a quick shorthand. And uh, finally, uh, the last thing I wanted to show y'all is this uh, the nested rules. So instead of you know declaring a specific rule for each thing inside of this this header, uh, you can actually just nest it all inside. Um, and I'll just do a quick example here. Um, see, I have the the paragraph tag from the inside div declared down here but you can actually even just move it up here and uh, we can call the color call it red since we said this will be red go ahead and take that out and uh, I'll save that go back to our source here this is red. And there you go. So you can you can edit a lot of um, different tags inside of you know the different divs that you have um, just by nesting them inside of each other rather than declaring them individually, uh, which which come in handy and uh, I think it's a lot. Uh, more organized, a lot more used to what I'm seeing when when I'm coding. Um, but there's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Uh, they have a desaturate uh, function, and uh, along with some other things. And this is all tied in through JavaScript. 
So all you have to do is include their source file and uh, link to your style sheet, remember which is the, the dot less, and um, you'll be uh, on your way. Uh, I can see it coming in handy. I, I don't know if I'll use it right away. I'd have to get you know used to it, use it a little bit more, but there's plenty of things that you can do with it and uh, a lot more than I've told you today. So go out and check it out um, and uh, have fun with it. Have a good one, guys.